Hi guys, thanks for joining today. Uh, we're gonna find out what would they do if they came back again? Uh, if you were to see them again, what would they do? We have pile one, two, and three. This was a reading suggested to me by a viewer and I thank you so much, it's a great topic. Let's try to see what is it this person would do. We're gonna get a little bit about who your person is, first of all, um, their relationship to you, how you feel about them, what is it they wanna do, what would they do? <laughs> and all that good stuff. So we will get into it really deep, okay? So again, one, two, three, if you would like a personal reading with me, all the information's in the description, guys. I love you, I'll talk to you soon. Hello everyone, those who chose the washi tape with the green, I think this is aventurine, I don't know. I tend to think everything's green aventurine. That's one of my favorite crystals. This might not be green aventurine, I have no freaking clue. Anyway, let's find out a little bit about your person and you, what they would do if they came back. Let's get some information. I've not looked at any of these yet, okay? I like to be surprised with you. All right, so we have, we have quite a few. Let's see what we've got first, okay? I'm just gonna lay it all out here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wheels in this deck. The universe, world, card, heart chakra, wow. Third eye chakra. The grove card. Knight of pentacles. The fledgling. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here with um, what type of connection this is. Well, I feel that you were instructing this person. There's something about you being a very good business owner or something with money because the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you work with spirit to make something of yourself with like money. Like you could even own a spiritual business. There could be that with the world card here. You're a healer, definitely a healer. You inspired this person to go through a heart chakra awakening. Um, this could be your mom or you could be their mother. This could be a child, definitely could. Um, you might've known them as well from college. I'm getting here with the fledgling card. This is somebody who is like watching you go from nothing to everything. So it could have been that you guys were eating like ramen before <laughs> in, in school. Uh, you really went from rags to riches or you're about to in this lifetime. They see you as very grounded, very sturdy, very uh, reliable. And this was something that I don't know if you knew how to balance. You didn't know how to balance them and you at the same time. This person could do something really different, like they sew or they knit or crochet. There's something about them being very like hands-on, but they like the more rustic things in life. So if, if this is a former friend of yours, this is somebody that would do things like crochet, knitting, making soap, stuff like that. I, I don't know. It, it, um, <sighs> they went through something kind of harsh though, because even though they're awake and they, they understand the, a, a little bit of, of the law of the universe here, they, they're going through heart pain in their life. Somebody else is treating them poorly, okay? And it's like you kept trying to defend this person against this other person that they're being insulted by or something. It's like you keep trying to boost this person up or you did try. You did try. I don't know if they're in your life anymore. They, they, could, they could still be. There's something, to, what am I getting with the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles with the fledgling here, I kind of feel you're like a witch or you're, you're a mystical healer. You're a shaman. You're doing something like that. And this person also did that, but then they stopped. They stopped. Um, I have 333. Okay. So this is Empress energy here, a divine feminine. Um, there's three also with the universe. We got to, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice you have 2121. So again, you mirrored this person. There, there's a lot of similarities you have with this person. This is a psychic. This is, this is definitely a psychic. Medium. They're tuned in with the other side guys. Okay. Magician vibes here. I'm getting like a witch. Okay. But like you either parted ways. Okay, so I am seeing three, three a lot. So that could be, they could born, be born in March or I'm getting Empress energy again, Divine Feminine. Could be an entire collective of Divine Feminines that this is relating to you with. But I'm feeling very much like you left this person behind because you were focused on your business. Um, also, I'm getting that they could have been doing something that you didn't like. They were with someone that you didn't like. That's what I'm getting. It's like they were giving all of their time and energy to someone else and you kept trying to inspire them to be on their own, to enjoy what they had on their own without giving it away so much. And that is what really separated you two, I feel. Give me some more here for pile one. 
what happened? Why did this part ways in the first place? I'm hearing severing of ties. It just, it just went its natural, it ran its natural course is what I'm getting. But this is actually a very spiritual person too, I'm getting. Can you tell me more about this person, pile one's person? Tell me more. Oh my God, yeah, strength. Oh, whoa, okay guys. We have the strength and the death card. They could be a Scorpio or a Leo, but they are extremely into the occult. Like, oh, this person's a healer as well. They're just very mystical. The third eye, the heart chakra, this person is a, is, a, is a healer, but they didn't take the same path that you took, okay? I'm kind of needing, like, I feel like I need to cleanse my energy. I feel like this is you. I feel like you need to cleanse a little bit. Like, you, you, I feel like around this person, you need to start cleansing your, your auric field. Or, like, you could even have dreams of this person or you've noticed them in your dreams. That's what I'm getting here. This is a very psychic person. They're very aware. It could be Scorpio, just deep. They're really deep. But they don't yet see their worth. That's what that's what it is. They didn't see their worth yet. Um, so you had to part ways with them. They I, I I think what it was is they were giving their life. It could have been like a boyfriend or a girlfriend, like somebody came into their life and they like gave their time and energy to somebody else, somebody new. What the hell just happened there? I feel like I just got a mosquito bite on my forehead. It's so funny, I went out, um, I went to the window to over by my crystals and I saw this huge ass spider. I feel like somebody needs to know that um, not only is your third eye woke, case I'm, I'm, I'm getting here with the third eye and also this, what looks like a third eye right here. There's a spider outside the window and it was fucking huge. And yesterday too, I was sweeping and I saw the biggest fucking spider I've ever seen in my life. Spiders are signs of abundance and I feel like you are manifesting a lot of abundance in your life and you had to choose between you and your abundance and this person. And you definitely made the choice to choose your abundance. Knight of Pentacles. But it's been coming in really slow because energetically this person is still kind of attached to you. Yeah, they're still attached. They might even be watching you. I'm hearing watching you fall. Hmm. Four of Swords. You took a break. Okay, 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 okay. Your business or whatever it is that you did it wasn't going anywhere yet. Two of wands. It was like really slow, really, really, really slow. You weren't getting like new clients or whatever your, your business is. I, I don't know. You could be a CEO or there's just something you're doing. It could be a hobby. I don't know. A project. They were watching you take a break and it's almost like they thought that you would be down for the count. They saw you missing them is what it was. This feels like a friend that's been in your life for a minute or it could be a mom maybe grandmother, aunt, somebody in your family too, but I am getting feminine energy here. So take it or leave it. But yeah, they, they were watching you kind of like mourn them, mourn the loss of them. So eight minutes, eight seconds. Again, eight is really important for you. It's about manifesting. You're, pile one, you guys are going to manifest a lot more financial stability into your life very soon. Considering your card first out the gate was Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, with the world next to it. Hell yes. Uh, we got justice here. They could be a Libra. You could be a Libra. But I'm really getting the scales are about to work. Oh, shit. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Nine of pentacles, four of wands. You guys have no idea the prosperity that's coming for you. You were just mourning this is what you were doing. You were, you were just leaving this behind energetically. You were healing from this. That's what you were doing. This pause, it was just a pause. It wasn't a stop. It was not a failure. It was literally you just healing your heart chakra because this was somebody you really loved. Really, really, really loved. And you thought it was going somewhere. This could be like an entire group of friends. This, it feels kind of like that actually. Like maybe you thought that these were your soulmates, your, your, um, Page of Cups, yeah. That they were your um, soul tribe, okay? Um, so now let's see a little bit more. Hold on, I wrote down questions. I really wanna, hold on. Didn't I? I felt like I wrote down questions, but maybe I didn't. I didn't imagine anything. Uh, where is it? There it is, there it is. I got it, guys. This, okay, so here's the questions. Who are they? They're definitely somebody that you loved very deeply and it feels like friends, friend circle. I'm getting friend group more than romantic partners here. What kind of connection is this? Again, it feels like soul tribe or it feels like somebody that you connected with on a psychic level. Very psychic, this person. Um, how did they feel the last time you interacted? They love you too. So chances are, I don't think you guys fought. I don't, I don't think there was like a lot of Nay saying, no, because this person understands the law of one. This person understands the universal laws. They wouldn't have hurt you, I don't feel. I don't think they intended to hurt you. I, I'm not getting that because, again, they're a healer too. 
an empress. I don't think they hurt you. They didn't want to. Mm -mm. I really am getting law of one. I don't know why they feel very universally. They're connected with the one. They're connected with the source, okay? And then what would they do if they saw you again? Let's find out how you can get closure and some spirit advice. Nine of cups. Reminder. High priestess. You guys, I swear to everything, I didn't see these. So you have high priestess. I'm definitely getting psychic. Three of cups. There's the friend circle and then temperance. Well, first of all, they would be ecstatic to have you back in their life. Absolutely happy. In fact, they might even tell you that they've learned some things with the temperance. They've healed something within themselves ever since you got out of their life. Um, but again, definitely friend circle and a psychic circle. Like this feels like another witch or like a witch coven or like a... Yeah, this, this is very, very metaphysical, this Bible. They would actually love it if you uh, took them back on as a friend. Mm -hmm. You at one time thought that this was your, oh, wow, that's soul sister or like soul family. You, you definitely thought that this was the one, like for you, like your, your forever friend, best friend best friend. And actually, if you did come back, they would be reminded of the good times. You guys would have good times. So what would they want to do? They would want to tell you about how they've grown, how they've changed. Um, they'd also want to tell you more about the mysticism that they've learned since you've been gone. Since you've been gone, I cannot breathe. I don't know that song. Kelly Clarkson's coming to mind. I don't know. I cannot breathe for the first time. It could be a Sagittarius or a Taurus. I'm getting heavy Taurus here. Okay. Taurian vibes. Spirit's so showing me one of my uh, former Pisces friends, Piscean. So they could be Pisces as well. This is a healer though. This person's like, it's just you had to you had to part ways. It wasn't even on bad terms. I'm not getting that there are bad vibes here at all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no. And if they did come back, this person would be the first to tell you like, I'm sorry. If they did anything wrong. In fact, let's get some messages from them. From this uh, index, in the index cards. Pile one, please, Spirit. What would they say if they could, if they came back? What would they do if they came back? Yeah, I'm getting Romeo and Juliet. It doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be romantic. I don't think it's that way for a lot of you, but if it is romantic either way, they would tell you that it's destined, that they do believe that you are their soulmate. What would they do? What would they do? I'm hearing writing. They would write you a lot. Oh my God, artists. See, they write songs or music or lyrical poems or something. I'm so torn. They are very, um, they would write a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to you. They would like write you a lot of text messages and send you like poems or love letters. Yeah, yeah, this person's a bleeding heart. They are a good person. It's never been a question of are they a good person and do they love you? It's never been a question of that. I want you to know that. I want you to know, Pile One, it's never been that. It's been that they gave their heart to someone else. It, it, I'm, I'm hearing that they didn't even give it to someone else. It belonged to someone else when you first met them. Hmm. This person's extremely in, to, like, like they are so close with spirit, it's insane. They motivated you. Hmm. Huh. What a beautiful, this person's a beautiful person, okay? We're getting May. I will reach out soon. I was going to say, I wonder if they will reach out. I'm getting maybe, maybe I will reach out. Um, I think that the ball is kind of in their court because I, you pulled away. You pulled away because they were like choosing someone else and something else. So it's almost like they're going to be the one that has to come back, come forth first. Um, give me more spirit, please. So may they could be born in May. Again, I'm so torn. This person has not reached out yet at rock bottom. They haven't reached out to you yet. But if they do, if they do pile one, they would tell you that they are so sorry that they were torn between you and another person. Could be their parents. It's somebody they felt responsible for. No one even comes close to you. Look, you guys, I'm telling you. They were feeling responsible for someone else, and it's like they had to assist someone else. <gasps> they're a tarot reader. I'm just getting that tarot on the bottom. Dude, what did I say? I fucking called it. I think there's only one card in my entire deck that says maybe. You can't make this shit up. 
this person is really, 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 really not sure if they want to come back or not, but they're, they're, they're contemplating it. They're contemplating reaching out to you again. Um, no one even comes close to you and I'm so torn. Yeah, they have really seen the light, honey, while you were away from them. Let's get some spirit advice from you, from, from spirit to you. Divine feminine. It really is a feminine energy. Endings and beginnings. Kali, that's goddess, Kali. Like, I'm really getting this is a feminine. This is a very... This person's into the dark, like a cult, like really dark mystic mysticism. And there's a real connection that you guys had, like either telepathically or you would go like really deep into some cool shit. You'd talk about like the deepest, darkest things. I'm hearing they never broke your trust. Boundaries. You just had to issue boundaries because they, they, they are actually, wow, wow. Spirit keeps showing me this former friend of mine that I'm not speaking with anymore, but... It, it, they're just, they keep showing me how awake this person is. And that is your person. They're really awake. You just had to issue boundaries. It wasn't that they hurt you. I, I don't feel this person hurt you. Divine passion. Yeah, no, they, I don't think they did because they love you. They really, really, really love you. It says, be honest with yourself. What's your heart's true desire? They're starting to get honest with themselves about what their heart really longs for. Because... There's this uh, energy of like, they had to take care of someone else and you showed them love. Like you were like, oh my God, independent guys. I'm not fucking kidding. You were like, you need to be more independent. You need to pull your energy away from this person. They're toxic. Um, 1717 on the clock. That could be important. Again, eight, eight, one plus seven is eight, eight, eight. So eight, eight is really important for you. Um, magician vibes here. Magician. Okay. You kept telling them, you need to get independent. You need to be more independent. And they wouldn't listen. It's the, it's, I'm hearing it's because they couldn't. They couldn't do it yet. Boundaries. You kept asking them, please, please, just please give yourself more love. Because they are a medicine woman. They are a healer. But they couldn't do it. They, could, they absolutely love you, though. I'm hearing that has never been a question. The question was never, do they love you? Ever. Don't ever, ever deny that they loved you and don't ever doubt that they did. I'm telling you, this person is absolutely in love with you. And if it's a friend, it, well, hey, maybe even still, I don't know. But um, if it's just platonic, still, they absolutely love you. They have extremely warm feelings for you. They would love to come back and share about all the stories that they had in the meantime uh, when you two ended. They would love to tell you about the things that they've learned. They'd love to tell you. You know what? Before I go... I want to find out, because I know what they would love to do. They they would love to come back. At, well, I mean, I'm not sure yet. They're still on the fence. But if they do come back, what they really want is to tell you how far they've grown. But let me see what they would do for you. Because sometimes it doesn't matter that they would do something. It's like, are they going to care about you? Are they going to ask you questions about your day? Are they going to inquire about, like, hey, what lessons have you learned? Like, how are you doing? Like, You know what I mean? Justice. I need to see, are they going to do that for you if they did come back? Spirit, what would Pile One's person do if they did come back? What would they, would, how would they treat my viewer? Ace of Wands. They definitely want to rekindle things, guys. King of Cups on the bottom. Pisces, again, I'm getting Pisces. Knight of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. Ooh. How would they treat my viewer? They would, I'm hearing clear the air. There it fucking is. Guys, they would clear the air. They would be like, I'm so sorry. I really screwed up. I really, really, really did. I know that I was supposed to be listening to you and not this other person. Fool. That's it right there. They would take a new leap of faith with you. They absolutely would. Could be an Aries, three of pentacles. They would work with you. This person loves that you're into magic or something because I'm getting the seven of pentacles with three of pentacles equaling 10 of pentacles. You're very abundant. You're very mature. You're very wise. They would want to work with you. They would want to do something where they work with you. Eight of Cups, there's something about the way that they were very judgmental before with the moon. They're walking away from like a lot of things that kept them in the dark about you. What is this that I'm getting? It's something around a person in their life. They weren't seeing clearly. I am not even kidding, guys. There's the magician card. I told you in the sun. You are going to be blown away by the amount of love that they have for you. And it's like they want to confess this to you. They really do. I'm, I'm almost hearing spirits say like, please keep the door open. If you want somebody like this in your life, don't reject it. I feel like right now, Five of Swords, you might be pushing this person away energetically, telling yourself like, no, I don't want it. I absolutely don't want it. But you just may want it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Queen of Cups. 
You may just want it. You're the queen of pentacles and here's the queen of cups. Yeah, I think you want this. This is a very intuitive person. Um, yeah, pile one, I'm gonna actually go on a limb and say they're a little bit hesitant. They're not sure whether they're gonna come back yet or not, but if they did, you would pick up where you left off and I feel like they would care about you. They would care about this. They would take what you say at face value a lot more. Ace of Swords, they would listen to what you have to say and they would run with it because um, they've learned the hard way. Look at this. You cut through their bullshit and they're learning now. They're learning a lot more. One more, one more. Yeah, they're, they're more teachable than they were in the past. And also I'm hearing you don't have to teach them. They're, no, you don't have to teach this person. They teach themselves. They've learned a lot of lessons. Two of Pentacles. Guys, they have definitely got their shit together, okay? Pile one, I'm gonna leave it there. If you want a personal reading with me, all the information's in the description. I do have a Patreon channel where there's a lot of picker cards. Um, if you're interested in that, look it up. It's seven seventy seven a month. And I also have um, two free readings I'm giving away, two personal 30-minute readings for the month of July. So check it out. Thank you so much. One more card before I go for pile one. Ace of Wands, honey, I, I, I would be, this person is watching you. They're spying on you. I think they really want to come forward. They like you. They really, really do. They've never not. 22, 22, this is a soulmate. This is definitely a soulmate, Six of Pentacles. Just wait for it. I think this person might actually come back, all right? I'm really feeling that. I love you guys with all my heart. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Those who chose Pile 2, the gold washi tape, welcome to your reading. Let's find out what they would do if they saw you again, okay? So we have the petrified wood here this is i love this crystal it's the only one i have of petrified wood and it is so sick i love it it looks like like almost like a mountain like a you know like um like a mountain okay <sighs> all right let's see i have a lot of cards that i've not looked at yet they're all randomly drawn and shuffled so let's just see what do we have spirit for pile two who is this person? What kind of connection is this? First of all, let's start with the basics. Then, how did they feel last time you interacted? And what would they do if they saw you again? Who is this? <whistles> Page of Swords. Mm-hmm, that's nice. Ooh, child, lust. Oh, shit. Oh, honey, we have the Seven of Wands, but this always screams King of Wands, or Knight of Wands, excuse me. And the Knight of Wands is a player. Really? It is absolutely. This is someone you've been physically involved with, like, intimately. You have definitely had talks discussions or good times you definitely have that with this person okay denial oh shit um guys oh honey you 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 walked away from this person nine of pentacles and the high priestess of fire listen to me right now This person was immature AF and you had a good time though. They're very sexy. They're very alluring. There's a lot, whew, a lot of heat, a lot of passion. They definitely could be fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could definitely lots of passion. But you spotted the red flags, honey. You're like, I don't know if there's anything more than that. To be completely real with you, um, I, I don't know. I think you're kind of right. Um, Woo, there's a lot of heat here. Like, I don't know what to tell you this, but there's like a lot of passion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very nice. But, oh my God, I'm literally. <laughs> oh my God. That lady is literally holding a rooster. I, mm, my spirit guides. I think these are your spirit guides because my spirit guides aren't this raunchy, but cock-a-doodle-doo. I'm just saying she's holding a cock-a-doodle-doo. I, I, I don't know. Like, that's not my spirit team. <laughs> Lord Jesus. No, I don't know. Um, honey, this was absolutely 1,000% sexual and um, extremely passionate, uh, but it ended... Shit, I don't know why. Man, with that kind of passion, why did it end? I don't know, maybe you just thought that they were in it for the wrong reasons. I don't know, let's see, let's see, let's keep going. What is it that they felt the last time you interacted? I'm done. I'm literally done. The Ace of Wands. Do you know what I mean? Foundation and achievements, wow, they felt like you, oh my, please, please don't shoot the messenger, guys, do not shoot the messenger. But you were... Oh, shit. I, I hate my job sometimes, but I'm really getting like a notch on their 
felt. I feel like they wanted somebody like you and it's because you were like un unattainable. But then as soon as they got it, it's like a like an achievement. Achievement is what I'm getting like, wow. Mm -mm. I don't like that. I do not like that. All right. Um, but the Ace of Wands, I literally threw on the floor because I think you threw it on the floor. I didn't mean to, but it dropped on the floor. I'm too lazy to pick it up. And I feel like you're too lazy to pick this up. Not lazy. That's not the right word. You're too grown. You're too grown for this person. You're not lazy at all in the slightest. I feel you gave this person ample opportunity to do something and they just didn't do it. They didn't do it. They didn't grow up like you did. Um, you let this person go because all they wanted was sex. And I feel like that is absolutely 1000% the case. Yeah. What would they do if they saw you again? Let's see. Let's keep going. We've got what would they do if they saw you again? How you can get closure and move on and some advice from spirit. Okay. Queen of Swords. What would they do if you would freaking just cut them out again? Empress. <sighs> Fertility here. Okay, wow. King of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles. You would be sending them on their way again because they have not matured into the King of Pentacles. Here you are. Queen of Swords and the Empress. You are absolutely not taking this person's bullshit anymore. And if they did come back, at least right now, in the current energy for Pile 2, if they came back right now, you would probably ghost them. I feel you would abandon them. Five of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles because they're not ready. They're not fully mature yet. Mm. Okay, I'm getting a message. Hold on, please. Hmm. There's something about this King of Pentacles, the way he's holding the pentacle here. I'm feeling a lot of heart blockage. This person might love to give gifts, shower people with like compliments and gifts and stuff, but like, is there anything below the surface? Because I'm almost getting here now, if, if they were to come back, you'd be really tempted by their pentacle. <laughs> their, their big pentacle. You would definitely be tempted. They have money, I think. They like to spend money, elaborate gifts, vacations, stuff like that. Oof, but there's something in the heart space blocked off. This person does not lead from their heart space, whereas you do. Look at you here. Yeah, they, they, oh, see, here's the thing. They are holding this pentacle where their heart should be, and you are holding energy and love where your heart should be. A uh, big difference. This is someone who does not know how yet to express love. Um, instead, they pay for things. They give money instead in hopes that that will somehow, like, make up for it. This person likes to spend money on people that they care about because they hope and pray that that will somehow keep pe people around. Pile two, please stare at pile two. Hmm. I'm, 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 I'm seeing the word hermit, okay? Virgo energy, let's get married. Holy shnikes. I believe in a higher power now. It's interesting. If you are married to this person trying to manifest you back, holy shit, listen. The dog upstairs started barking. This is a dog. This is a player. I'm sorry. Like, Lord, forgive me. But this is not a good person deep down. I think you were married to this person. Could be some of you. Um, you were definitely in a, um, a relationship with them where they just wanted the good good. And then they wanted to spoil you with things. With money. But here you are. The high priestess of fire. And I believe in a higher power now. So you both went your separate ways. Like... They went somewhere else. I don't know. They probably went to someone else. I don't know. This much sexual tension. Like, they they must be in another relationship. Because if they're not getting it from you, I feel like this person is getting it somewhere. Okay? I'm sorry. <sighs> don't shoot the messenger. But they're getting it somewhere because this person's like a... I almost feel like... I don't really don't go this deep in my readings. But this is kind of like a sex addict, I feel. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I don't know if I'm allowed to. But I got removing toxic situations... I feel like you are just aware that they're toxic. Pile 2, please, Spirit. Can I get a little bit more about Pile 2's person? What are they going through now at, the, at this time in their life? Do you think of me often? I want a family with you. You might even have a family with this person. <sighs> they think of you a lot. And I feel like that's why they're spying on you. Page of Swords, I feel like this person does uh, watch you every once in a while. On social media, they might have access to your social media. They really think you're something special. Like, they really do, guys. They want this, but you don't want it. Mm-mm. 
Mm -mm. No. I don't even recognize myself. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I don't even recognize myself anymore. Instead of now, I'm getting any more because you changed so much since meeting this person. You, you have grown up so much. You have, you've really taken back your power in your life for meeting them. You don't want this person anymore, honey. No, you don't. You don't want this person. Move on. Move on. Yeah, I don't even know if they would come back because they know this would be your energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Denied. That's what I'm getting. What is pile two's person wanting with them? Wanting. What do they want with my viewer? What do they want with my viewer? What do they want? Ace of Cups. Love begins. They want to start something brand new. Wow, the tower on the disruption. They want, to, I'm hearing, pardon the interruption. They do want to come back. They are trying. They are trying. But I don't think that you, oh my God, Nine of Cups, honey. Mm, I am. You're like everything they want, but you're like, yeah, but they're like nothing I want. <laughs> they definitely want you. I just don't know that you want them back. Uh-huh. Again with the tower moment. Guys, disruption came up again. Let me see why. Why does this tower moment keep coming up, Spirit? For pile two, why? You're blocked. No, that's not true. Spirit is blocking you. No, that's not true. Spirit is blocking them from having access to you. Why do I keep saying it in a weird way, though? I think maybe deep down you think that there's something about the way I said that that's coming through really strange. Um, yeah, okay, I see now. We got sacrifice here and the nine of pentacles. You have the nine of pentacles twice. Spirit is blocking them from you. But it's like... I can't believe you have Knight of Pentacles twice. Yeah, you're very independent now. Um, I'm hearing that song. <sighs> so independent. Huh, I don't know. This person could be really into rap or hip hop because I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a, I can't even think of the hip hop artist's name. But I'm just getting, you're so independent. That's what I'm getting. You're so independent. Nine of Pentacles, sacrifice. Okay, it's like Spirit is trying to get you wealthy on your own so you never ever 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 have to go back to somebody like this again like error they're, they're they're like i we never want this person to sacrifice who they are again you do not have to be a martyr for people like this ever again in your life honey you are extremely independent extremely wealthy and coming into something great on your own you do not need this person anymore and and you don't need this type of person oh devil Capricorn energy, you got the temptation here. Again, a lot of physical temptation. Um, you don't need somebody like that ever in your life again. Unreal. Okay, so let me see. We're at 13 minutes. They're definitely a Capricorn. I'm getting Capricorn energy here for somebody. Could be a Gemini as well. You're so independent. They're watching you do something without them, and they're like... How? How can they do this, though? Didn't they need me? They needed me all that time, but no. I don't think you ever did need them. They convinced you you did, but you sure shit didn't, honey. All right, pile two. Let's get a couple more for spirit advice on this connection. I already know. It's like, move on, honey. Move on with your bad self. Mm-hmm. Fulfillment of wishes, nine of cups again for you. Find your wish fulfillment. Find your joy. What makes you happy, guys? What makes you happy, pile two? Comment in the comment section. Tell me what makes you happy. We got the five of wands, obstacles and challenges. Let's see, give me more for this. Why is this here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're gonna overcome these obstacles in your life right now, keeping you from your own abundance. Five of wands and the victory and success. There's something about you needing to be patient. Yeah, there it is, the waiting game. Patience and planning. You need to be patient, but I promise you, I promise you, pile two, you will be getting over these obstacles, these hurdles. Like right now, I feel like your life you're kind of like, yeah, but I don't want anything. I don't know that I even want anything. I don't know what I want in the future. And um, I'm telling you right now, spirit is going to give you that aha moment, that clarity that you need to go forward. But just like right now, you your sacral chakra might be a little blocked. And I think it's because this person's um, still attached to you in the sacral chakra. You might need to get that cleared. You might want to do some energy clearing, go to a Reiki practitioner, learn how to do it on your own. Oh, there's the hermit. Oh my God. I just said learn to do it on your own. So learn how to heal yourself on your own. You might already be doing that. Wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was already getting... And the Empress again! You got the Empress and the Hermit. Okay, guys, yes, 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 yes. You a queen, bae. You a queen. You don't need anybody like this in your life anymore. Getting the name Sue, Susan. I'm also seeing the word star, so you could have star in your name somewhere. Like, I don't know, a star, maybe tattoo, something star. You don't need them. You don't need them. You're better off alone. You don't need them. So you're trying to get you wealthy so that you never again have to choose narcissists like this guy. Or girl? I don't know. Something about their personality is a bit off. Four of Swords and the Hermit. Again, again, you are really putting distance between you and this person. Uh, that's, spirits, that's Spirit's advice. Look at this. Death on the bottom. Spirit's advice. Please don't ever go back. Please don't. The Hermit, Four of Swords, and Death. Honey, if that is not be done with them once and for all, I don't know what is. Okay. So with that said, guys, if you want to check out my Patreon channel, I'm making a lot more posts over there, so it's going to be a lot more active soon. Um, I have tons and tons and tons of con content, though, over there. So also, I am giving away two free readings to two lovely people that I'm choosing randomly in the month of July, two free personal 30-minute readings. So check it out. Go subscribe over there. Uh, the link is in the description. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, welcome to your reading pile three, those who chose the black tourmaline pile and this awesome mostly tape. I love this tape, this is like my favorite, I think. I say that about every single one though. Anyway, let's say, let's learn a little bit about you and your person, what they would do if they came, if they came back, if you saw them again, what would happen? <sighs> pile three, please. Hmm. Whoa. I'm getting hit with this overwhelming sense of like, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's this person, they're showing me the, the white rabbit in, in Alice in Wonderland, okay? That's always like, gotta go, gotta go. Look at the clock. This person's always like busy. They don't have like a, a chill function. They're just like, go, go, go. It, it, it's like, they don't know how to sit down, okay? This person doesn't know how to relax, how to just take it easy. Their mind is always on something else. Like, bro, take a chill pill. Could be a Gemini. I just, no hate on Geminis, but I do think that Geminis have such, because of the, the duality within their mind, they're always thinking of the next thing. Mainly always air signs, indicative of air signs. But this person is just really, really, um, not grounded, not grounded. I'm getting a lot of pressure in my solar plexus. I'm feeling like in the root chakra, they're really imbalanced. But like externally in the real world, like in 3D world, like everything looks good for them. I actually feel like they put on a really good front about being centered and grounded and healthy and balanced. But, but inside, healthy, balanced people take a day off. This person does not do that. They do not have a chill function. This person could even work like 50, 60 hours a week. I don't know. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that when you have balance. This person does not have balance. Also, they're hypercritical as well. Very judgmental. Mm -mm. I don't like this. Um, I don't like this energy. I do not. In fact, I think that's why the black tourmaline is here. Okay, so I have a lot of cards that are randomly drawn and shuffled. I've not looked at any of them yet. What I'm going to do is hopefully be able to figure out who they are, what kind of connection this was, what was it like the last time you guys spoke or interacted, and some spirit advice about this person, about this connection, what they would do coming. It just, I'm going to really go into it, but I just want you to know right now, this is a fucking sacrifice for me to do so because I do not want to go into this person's energy and neither do you because I feel the reason you're not around this person anymore is because when you get into their orc field, like you get into their bubble, you lose who you are. You lose track of time. You lose like, I feel like this is somebody you lose days at a time around. It's like you just look around and you're like, oh my God, have I, where have I been? This person sucks you into the twilight zone. Okay, I haven't even looked at the cards yet. Okay, their energy is fucking off, okay? <sighs> Lord Jesus, it's honey. All right, let's look. Let's see what we got going on here. <sighs> God, I asked you to please be with me during this reading. Please protect my energy. The moon, shit. We're gonna start out right now with the moon. I knew it, I fucking called it, man. Five of Pentacles, financial material changes, two of swords in their head all the time. I swear to you, I did not see these cards. I swear, I swear to everything. I've not looked at these cards yet. The moon, two of swords, five of Pentacles. This person is unsure about everything. This person is unsure about what kind of shirt they should wear in the day. They are unsure of their even favorite color. This person doesn't have 
they 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 don't make decisions based on like <laughs> nah it's something not good with their like gut instinct they don't have a wolf instinct they don't have a gut instinct this person does not have their own personality in a way i don't know how to describe what i'm feeling but it doesn't feel good five of pentacles but on the surface they wear like rings or something about like maybe necklaces or they wear like things that make them look rich because they care about how they're viewed to outside society but inside this person is like dead inside whoa ten of pentacles again they wear things that make them look rich. They want people to think of them as wealthy. Shit. But you got a tower here. This person is a walking disaster. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. Lord, forgive me. But you love them. We do have love here. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Similar to pile two. If you came for pile two, you brought this negative energy over with you. Anyway, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I don't think, I don't, I don't know. Oh, you have 10 of pentacles and love. So it's almost like there's two opposites here. You have one who like worships money and one who really loves love. So I feel like with you, you love to be very authentic. You love to be your original self. You like to make art and create things and like be your expressive self. Very Aquarius vibes here for you. Sun, moon, rising. But I'm really getting with them. They're Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and they're all about money all the time. Like how much does that cost? I need to know like how I can make my next when's money coming in when, when are you going to make money when, it's something about money 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 all the time that's what drives this person <sighs> let's see how did they feel the last time you interacted balance in reverse like they were starting to see that you guys were very imbalanced as well but when i'm getting 5 55 5 minutes 55 seconds a lot of change this person had just recently i think maybe you were telling them that they were imbalanced you might have said when you left them we're unevenly yoked. Like, you want something different than I want. You have a different love language than me. And it's almost like they saw that when you last spoke. They were, they were starting to see, too, that this really isn't a good fit. That maybe you were speaking truth. Because you said something to this person about how, like, maybe they worship money. They value money way too much. Or they put money ahead of other things. I'm hearing you put money over your family. That's what I just heard. Not family for everybody. Not every last person was married to this person. or But it, this could be a family member too, like a parent, a sibling. Last thing they said, the last thing they felt was you were right, that they were very much imbalanced. Oh my God, Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? Somebody's mind is always on money and that was them, okay? And also too with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like something had shifted. Last time you spoke, something like a light bulb went off and they were like, oh my God, you're right. Like th there's something about this person finally getting it I don't know that they, they stayed that way, but they did finally understand what you were talking about. Oh, Jesus, honey. I, I don't like it, though. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't know how to... If their name starts with an R, this is definitely your message. Or if your name starts with an R. And also, if you are an Aquarius, I'm getting Aquarius and Moon Rising. And Sagittarius as well. Or Cancer. They do not like to be told no. This person does not like to be told they're wrong. But when you last spoke with them, this is something that they registered with them for whatever reason. I don't know. They got it through a thick skull, I guess. Because I think you said goodbye and like fully, fully, fully said goodbye. And that's why they like understood it. Finally. You have two different love languages with this person, okay? Um, what would they do if you saw them again, if they did come back? Understanding, what would they understand? Five of Wands, that they're fucking toxic. They would understand that. You would be showing them one more time, you're fucking toxic, all right? And I'm not Britney Spears, but you're toxic and I'm slipping under. This person, almost like they're, they're so chaotic, their energy is so much chaos that you would lose track of time. I'm hearing that's a huge indicator. So for whoever picked pile three, if this reading is resonating and you're thinking of a person that you get in their energy and you almost like lose track of time or like you start questioning who you are or your reality, you start questioning shit. I'm telling you that's this person and it's a no-go. It's a no-go from the universe. We got five of wands, five of pentacles. Too much, too much chaos. I saw 5.55 on the clock a second ago. So it's like, they, they are just too much chaos for you. No. We got movement and authority. Yeah, spirit's like, you need to move on. You need to move on. You, this, this person is an emperor, or at least they claim to be. But they're not really balanced inside, are they? No. 
Hmm. Something about leap year. I don't know. They could be born on like a leap year or something. I don't know. I just got that. Also, it could be an Aries. Or they could be born on the 29th of the month as well. More for this pile. Pile three. Holy shit, guys. My stomach's growling. Um, there's something about that rock bottom. Okay, they could be like an, an alcoholic or uh, maybe they overeat or something. There, there's something they do quite kind of toxic to like um, run away from their problems, their emotions. Oh my God, my stomach is literally, literally growling right now. I'm, I'm hearing they're always hungry. Hungry like the wolf. What do you see in me? Abundance. I think this, I'm not even going to tell you that this is, this is like what happened. But I think that they think that you use them for money. I'm not saying that that wasn't true or is true. I'm just saying that's what they think. They think that they were like Mr. or Mrs. Moneybags. To be real with you, I don't think they have much of anything else to offer. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry. You want freedom. You moved on from this person. You definitely did. Um, we have the moon here indicating, again, like hungry like the wolf. Like they they are looking for instincts in their life. Like they're looking for their own instinct, instinctual guidance system, their own <sighs> synchronicities. I just saw 11-11 on the clock. So again, they're looking for that like meaning. This person is looking for the synchronicities that you get to see. But they're not truly aligned with source right now. That's why they don't see it. You were there. Oh my God. Oh my God. You were there. Um, you were their compass. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So look, look, you will not fucking believe what just came out. Tower moments. You had the tower moments. Uh, literally, uh, literally in the of narcissism. Sorry. I'm so sorry. This person's a narcissist. I do think that. I mean, obviously I'm not a clinical psychologist. I'm dealing with a lot of issues currently. You made the right decision in moving on from this person. Show did. Let's get one more for this pile before we go. Advice for pile three. Run, honey, and don't ever look back. That's your advice. Please start giving yourself more credit. You have no idea. Oh my God, the brainwashing that happened. That's what I just heard. You have no idea the brainwashing this person did on you. Deception and envy, seven of swords, honey. You have no clue because you were with a narcissist. Something about like the end of the year. So like Christmas, New Year's, their birthday is around that time or yours is. Okay, that's definitely for somebody. But yeah, you guys, this person was like, mm -mm, honey, they took every single thing you said as an insult, as a personal attack. Honey, you made a badass move in getting out. Thank Jesus. You really do need to thank Jesus because you got the shadow here. So this person could be a Gemini, but I'm really getting um, devil energy here. You got out. You got out. You, you honestly freed yourself. My stomach is growling. So they could just have like a really big appetite. Like this person could eat a lot. I don't know. I'm just starving right now though. Honestly, it just came out of nowhere. Hmm. Insatiable. This person's insatiable. You can't please them. There's no pleasing them. Uh, I don't even want to tell you what they would do if they saw you again, because it wouldn't be pretty. Oh my God. I know you are my soulmate. I'm scared of you rejecting me. And then there's yes. So they are terrified. If they came back, you would reject them. Again, they, uh, with the yes, I was getting, um, um, shit, what did I just say? Yeah, they're toxic and they would bring you down again. Okay, so that's a, yes, yes, they definitely would. Um, you would reject them. You absolutely would. I'm hearing, hold on. Health issues. I'm hearing you can't actually be around them anymore. You literally can't because you will pick up on some of their health issues, mental health issues too. Yeah, you will actually not be allowed to be around their energy. Mm -mm. It's impossible. Spirit won't let this happen anymore. It's literally impossible. They might come back, but it will be so obvious that, I mean, you would just naturally go your separate ways. Like it would have to. So, wow. It's, it's not going to happen. It, Spirit won't let it. That, that's, that's the message I'm getting for you guys, okay? So if you want to check out my Patreon, guys, I have a ton of videos that aren't posted yet uh, on YouTube. I don't think they'll ever be. <laughs> the ones that I have on Patreon are for Patreon only. And for $7.77 a month, 
there's a ton of videos there. Um, also, I'm giving away two free readings in July 2021 to two random Patreons of mine. So please go check that link out in the description. And yeah, congratulations on making it out of a really, really tough cycle with this person. You made it out alive. Keep it that way. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.